How's it going guys? We're going to do some true fire here on a helmet. I'm going to show you how it gets done. It's a real fast and quick way of doing it, utilizing uh, pretty much a single layer approach. We're not spending a lot of money on this helmet, so therefore I'm not building up multiple layers. So we're going to do a couple layers here, if not one, maybe two. But what it, what it starts off with is a strong foundation. And what we got here is a nice in, uh, inconsistent pattern focused on certain uh, a certain kind of movement and a certain kind of look of le each little lick or flame we have going on here. But we want movement, we want inconsistency, we want flow, and we want depth. How we create the depth is just overlaying a bunch of patterns like this here. You don't want to rely on the stencil because then it's going to look like Swiss cheese or it's going to look like we use the stencil to do it or we use the mask to do it. A lot of times people's flames end up looking uh, very similar to each other because everyone's doing the same thing. So we rely on this strong heavy freehand to get the job done and we develop a pattern Then we come in lightly and just add some little vapors here and there. Because that, again, that's kind of all the flame is, is kind of a vapor. It's not a solid, it's just an airy, you know, uh, kind of density. And you re really begin to notice it when you extract all the color in Photoshop and take all the color out. It looks more like a smoke. But when you put all the color and you see the heat, you see the energy. Uh, but it, by understanding it that way, I think it's a much better approach on painting the flame. Um, because you understand it's not a solid, it's more of a, a thin, airy uh, substance in the atmosphere or wherever the flame is at. Again, light little little licks throughout the, the pattern. You can come in and tighten it up and create your hot spots. And your hot spots have to be pure white and then fade out. And once you got a reasonable pattern going on, just come in. the red and go right to the edge of the flame. Just kind of wrap around it. In between all the all the patterns. And just kind of begin to chisel or cut out the form of your flame. Try not to diminish all your hot spots. And this red here is transparent from Spectratex. Acts very much like a candy because it's so transparent. And we just kind of wash over the ends of these flames. The paint here is pre-reduced, it's ready to go. There's no adjusting or no mixing that needs to be done with this type of paint. And this paint is a uh, all-around paint to be used for multiple uh, substrates, but it's designed for textiles. You guys need help? Yeah. Okay, uh, step two coming up, guys. Stay tuned.